Hello and welcome to renovation week nine. Nine. This is really dragging on now, isn't it? <laughs> Jas and I are just at a marble place, like they do uh, quartz worktops and granite and all sorts of things. We have an appointment here. It's first thing on a Monday morning, but we wanted to book this appointment quite early so we can just get on with our day because Jas has the day off today. In fact, restaurants are open today now to oh, finally yeah. sit inside. So that'd be quite good. We don't have to sit in the freezing cold or in the rain <laughs> um, trying to grab some lunch. But we've got quite a few missions to do today. So first we're going to just go into this um, place. We're a little bit early for our appointment. They are open though. I don't know. Oh my god, this is such a difficult decision. Trust me to like the most expensive brand that has apparently been patented so nobody can copy it in the cheaper ranges. This is like such a minefield. You'd think that all marble look alike worktops look very similar, but they don't. I really don't like this thick veining here. I absolutely hate that one. There's just so much to choose from. I don't want grey, obviously. Mm. I thought this one was quite nice. It's going to be really hard to see now that the sun's come out though. Typical, when you like want the sun, it's not here. Oh my god. Such a difficult choice, isn't it, Which one was it that we liked? It was inside. It's kind of similar to this one. No. Well, this one's my... No, I don't like this one. This just looks like it's muddy. It just looks like it's thinner. dirty all the time. That's 20 mil. We're now in Clary's. This is like the worst shop ever for me. I get so bored in here. <laughs> We're looking at some appliances that we've seen online. We're starting with fridge freezers. Then we're moving on to hubs, ovens, and all the rest of it. This is like, I just get so bored in here, you don't understand. <laughs> it's like the worst shop ever. But it is actually really nice to see these things in person. Okay, we thought we weren't gonna buy anything there because it's really pricey, but just have a look at this. Hide and hide. How cool is that slide and hide? And also, can I do it? Hold on. But look at this handle. It twists up as you pull it down. There we go. I love it. I'm obsessed with Neff. Oh, their products are just so beautiful. Look at this. Oh my god, the sun's just come out and it's like really nice and warm actually. Anyway, um, we've just popped into, where did we go? We went to one worktop place, we went into Curry's and then we went into, popped into Wren because it was just right next door just to hold up our worktop sample against the cabinet doors just to see the colour. Now we're going to head um, towards the second worktop place and then maybe grab some lunch. Yeah because it is half past one and then we're gonna head back towards the house maybe pop into home base on the way to look at paint and i'm gonna ring the third worktop place who we actually went to last saturday just to see if we can go back to him so i don't think we actually like the worktop that we chose it's really hard to tell with a small sample but the place we went to this morning had a massive slab of it and it doesn't look that great also we didn't like the guy from this morning did we no. he was like mm really weird he was more interested in showing us his instagram account and <laughs> had this like really flashy office with a big like tv and he was like you kind of have to sit with your back to him and face the tv while he scrolls through his instagram and i was like i could have just done that at half home. the time he was on the phone to somebody else weren't he yeah he was like talking to us but answering calls like with his headphones and like we were like is he talking to us is he talking to them but the people he was talking to were obviously like his customers and they'd had some problem with the worktop and he was like oh yeah just don't tell the builder or don't tell the customer and i was like mm, this seems a bit dodgy right? shady. <laughs> he was very shady so yeah we're not gonna go with him and his prices were astronomical anyway it was just a very weird like it was just a very weird experience wasn't it with yep. this guy <laughs> yep. so hopefully this third place is good if not we're gonna go back to the first place we went to on saturday and i don't know we're just gonna do something basically our lives are just so fun and interesting at the moment aren't they just yep <laughs> So we're now looking at a completely different style of worktop and I think Jas really likes this one. Whereas <laughs> I think I like this, but it looks so different in different lights. Yeah, cool. That's that one there. On the right, yeah. It's 
very hard to tell if it's such a difficult decision because it's a permanent one, that's why. Oh my god. I think this is the first one we looked at somewhere else, but actually I really hate this. Do you? It's weird how it looks, it's because it looks good when you, it looks dark. Success. I think we found the place that we're going with, right? Mm. We haven't necessarily found the workshop that we want, but this guy was so nice, he was really helpful. He really knew his stuff, he sat down with us for ages, gave us two different quotes, it was really good. Um, he was very helpful and also a lot cheaper. So yeah, we're probably gonna go with them. But now we need to go and find some lunch. Why am I vlogging next to a busy dual carriage one? <laughs> also, also, one other thing that this guy said, which I thought was really interesting, is, oh, is when you buy your slab, because obviously all quartz comes in a massive slab, um, any off cuts the customer gets to keep and the other two places basically implied that they would give us some of the off cuts from another customer's slab so basically you pay for the slab because you want this whole stone but <laughs> if there's any off cuts or leftovers they take it back which yeah. is really stupid like that's, I want the off cuts like a bit like a nice chopping board true, or like yeah, coasters or this guy made more sense he actually gives them valuable information that we're not the other two didn't where he just meant that if you did get a cough cut to save money, if let's say another from a previous customer, the variant might be different because mm. not all the patterns are the same. There yeah. might be little shade variants. And we actually found that today when he's showing the samples, like he showed us a sample that we liked and then we went outside and then it looked different to a different slab. Yeah, exactly. So, and better is that we actually get to choose the slab we want. So the slab that... Yeah, we, he said we can go to the supplier and actually, yeah. like once we've chosen like... um the brand or whatever yeah the actual design we get to pick the actual, actual slab stone. that's going to go on i think so there's no surprises so when it turns yeah. up we're not going to expect somewhere different you know which is really good that's anyway really good. he was really helpful really liked him i can say where we are right yeah it's nowhere near where we live it's called mbs stonework in southall yeah. um thumbs up from me at the moment yeah the guy we uh, spoke to was a guy called cam there's another lady there as well who's been emailing me they were really helpful really nice so yeah i think we're definitely gonna go with them um but we need to eat jess it's oh like gosh. three o'clock school traffic time i'm hungry <laughs> just like that just had a wardrobe change <laughs> and outfit change we're back in the house and what are you doing with this wire i'm two wires i filmed by virgin media Right. One wasn't long enough, so I'm now going to give her another one hmm. by the builder. And then. He's basically trying to get it under the floor. Yeah, and no, most, most of the house <laughs> somewhere. Yeah. Keep putting it, keep putting it. Oh, perfect, yeah. Keep, keep putting it, keep putting it. Well, open the round as well, Jess. I'm really not being very helpful here, am I? Yeah, I thought that reason I went this way, the middle way, earlier. Yeah, for the office. Oh, that's fine, that's fine. Let's pull it. Oh, sorry. Is this what you're doing on Saturday as well? Oh, yeah. We've had to take the wire all the way out the driveway and across the street just to stretch it. Yeah. Alright, I'm gonna feed it more. Now pull it, yeah? Yeah. Pull it? 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 Oh, shit, hey. <laughs> <laughs> 
dat hij dat hij dat hoorde verschillen. Yeah. Um, should, I, should I take them and show you like this way a bit? This way? Should I put it higher? Yeah, got it. You got it? Yeah. Alright. Okay. Back to you. Let's get down the end of it, yeah? Oh, this idea. Yeah. <laughs> that was on Google. Right, let's go, let's go. <laughs> Getting there. <laughs> That's crazy, isn't it? There's no way you would have run it in the end, bro. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Probably still be here tomorrow morning when you come back. Uh, no, you it, was a, it was a two man job, man. I was thinking, how the fuck are we going to do this today? Oh, you said I... That was a mission, wasn't it, Jazz? <laughs> feeding that cable through but I've just come upstairs for a really quick look before we leave because we're about to go home no to home base but look at this the final wall in the guest no in the master bedroom has been plastered it looks incredible this room just looks amazing I'm obsessed I'm not going to go on about the colour of plaster anymore and yeah Everything else still sort of looks the same. We're in home base looking at paint colours and this time we have our tile with us. So this colour, London clay, is what I was looking at. And I just think it looks so nice against this. It's coming up a little bit different on camera, isn't it, Jess? Yeah, it looks nice. Does it look a bit different on camera? Slightly, it is, but it's slightly. Mm, what was the other one I was looking at? Charleston grey. One above it. That's too cool toned, isn't it? Charleston yeah. grey. I think London clay is nicer. On the camera, they do look different. So. <laughs> oh, what's this one? Brassica. Oh, I used to look at this properly, not through my camera screen. Hold on. I did also look at this uh, G Lux Heritage brand the other day, and this is quite a nice colour. Where's it gone? Wooded Walk. Well, this is actually quite pricey for G Lux. It's almost same price as Farrow and Balls. I'd rather just get a Farrow and Ball. Mm. Don't you think, Jess? Mm. These two colours do look quite nice together, don't you think? Is this yeah, a bit more cool toned? Yeah. That's a good match. Mm, I don't know. I think I still prefer squeaky shoes because it's chucking it down. These two, the middle one. It's very dark though, but I quite like that. It kind of gives a moody sort of vibe. Mm. <laughs> Jess is doing a really good job of modelling this sofa bed. We think it's a sofa bed, otherwise I think we've just broken it. But it's a bit weird because, look at this end. Like, you can't shift it into the middle, so nobody could actually lie down on this side. It looks far too small to be a double. I don't really understand. I like the colour, I think it's very cheap, but the material also looks quite cheap. Anyway, I don't know why we're looking at this stuff because we really don't need soft furnishings right now. Oh my god, what a day. We've literally just got home. It's about 7.30 p.m. We left the house at like 9.30 in the morning. Um, we're really tired. My eyes, like really bloodshot. I don't think I've noticed this. I don't know why this keeps happening to me. Anyway, um, we're going to have some dinner and do some more online shopping as per usual. But it's been a very productive day, hasn't it, Jess? Hey? Very productive day. Oh yeah, very productive. It was um, a day off well spent doing house stuff. Okay, it's Thursday. This is my second time at the house. I'm with Anusha. <laughs> I came here earlier because we had to make a quick dash to Screwfix to pick up some HDMI cables and some Ethernet cables and all that sort of fun stuff. But the builders were here and we had to just quickly drop them off and then we've just been out for... <laughs> is not very stable her birthday dinner actually which is very sorry you're being blinded by the lights yes. <laughs> but i thought seeing as i've got my camera on me this time um i just thought i'd show you what they've done they put some insulation up in the roof of the extension this actually wasn't here before and 
the builder keeps telling me what a shoddy job whoever built this extension did in the past because there's no insulation and there's actually none under the concrete either which actually means that the floor might be a bit cold which is really annoying and now they can't lift all this concrete obviously they can but it would be like super expensive to put insulation underneath it so he's bought like the thickest one possible which is quite good for us and uh let's see if i can get it to focus somewhere there so you might remember last time i was here there was all these gaps obviously here but he's put it between these joists i now know building terminology which is very exciting for me oh there's watermarks on the skylights i thought we'd bought self-cleaning skylights uh, it's not going to pick up on camp maybe it will that's really annoying hopefully they've just left like the plastic on it and this skylight looks like it's leaked oh for god's sake i just noticed these things when i'm vlogging that's a bit annoying so that's something i'll have to speak to them about it's actually really late at night it's like almost 9 p.m but they left the lights on for us because obviously there's no electricity in the house it's very bright because jas needs to feed another wire from here round there so you might have seen a few days ago i filmed like loads of little clips of justin the builder crawling around on the floor feeding wires under the floorboards and around the pipes uh but i'm not sure if i said what they were for but that was what were the wires for actually jess the, the ones you guys were feeding under <coughs> the floorboards that's for the virgin media cable so oh right that coaxial cable for the virgin media one comes with basically for the internet yeah. so yeah so he's got another one to do tonight because i think they're going to box it up because this partition wall is the partition wall for the living room and that is the back of where our TV is going to go so we want as many wires as possible hidden obviously. Saturday today and Jas and I have had a really productive one. Oh, you're in the back of my video. Hey. <laughs> We've already been to Ren Kitchens this morning for our second last appointment, finalised a lot of the appliances and now we are in Southall. We just came to MBS, the marble, granite, quartz and limestone, I was going to say worktop place, or just a stone place, let me show you. So this is where we are, basically. And now I discovered there's a home bargain, it's like literally one street away. So I really want to go there because we don't have home bargains in London, or so I thought. We don't have one anywhere near us. We're going to pop in, so we need some plant pots to repot my peace lily and maybe another plant, just some plastic ones. So we're going to pop in there and then maybe grab some lunch and then go to the house. How amazing do these plastic balls look? Yeah, it's amazing, isn't it? Yeah. They've literally just plastered this sort of dining a dining room. The camera literally has nothing to focus on around there, so I won't swing it around too much. They still haven't done that bit yet, but that's fine. Okay, so please ignore any mess that you can see behind me. We were actually meant to go to the house today, but the builder said it's going to be really dusty because they were preparing to do the pipe work for the boiler, which is happening next week. So we didn't go and paint today. And yesterday, Home Bargains was really disappointing, I have to say. Um, I don't really get the hype. Am I allowed to say that? I know people love it. They literally had nothing in there that I wanted to buy apart from these little chocolate covered pretzels. So random, but these like peanut butter covered chocolate pretzels. I think it's a brand called Flips. I've never seen the peanut butter ones before and they were very disappointing. So maybe that's why they were in there. Anyway, um, we are just having a day of Googling and shopping online. So I thought it would be a good place to end this video here because 
tomorrow is the start of renovation week 10 which is <laughs> I can't even I say this in every video but it's really dragging on and everyone keeps asking us when the builders are finishing off the job and I'm getting a bit sick of people asking because it's also kind of really winding me up it was meant to be five to seven weeks and now we're at the end of week nine and it's nowhere near done um they keep saying like next week will be done next week will be done and every time we go to the house at the end of that week we're like really are you gonna be done so i really hope it's soon because i just want to get things moving and like behind the scenes while i'm also vlogging this renovation my sister's getting married in a couple of months so i've been like on whatsapp to her and like and her friends like we're going on her hen night and her wedding and i'm a bridesmaid i've been ordering loads of dresses trying out all this stuff and it's just it's a lot um, to deal with all at once but i'm glad we've made a few decisions this week regarding the worktop and hopefully the kitchen will be finalized soon and hopefully we get all the painting done soon too which is gonna be super boring um so yeah, I just hope it ends very soon. I really hope you're enjoying these renovation videos. I know I'm not posting much other content like in terms of like food or beauty or any other lifestyle content because this is literally our lives at the moment. This is all we can think about and do and it's a lot of work and it's just a lot to do at the moment. So yeah, bear with me. Like my regular content will be back mixed with some really fun home content when I eventually get around to that but thank you for watching and I will see you next week for renovation week 10. Bye!